in trying to find the group that you belong in, it would be in your best interest to try and replicate the Welcome back, beautiful people. My name is Matthew Holland. I'm your host. And this is the channel where we talk about all the things you weren't taught and how to actually be successful. So let's get right into it. Today, we're going to talk about your environment and your friends. This is going to be one of those episodes. It is very important that you be aware of your environment and the people you surround yourself with because if you haven't noticed, you become the people that you are surrounded with. How often do you find, I don't know, a pastor hanging out with drug dealers? How often do you find poor people hanging out with rich people? The list goes on. It is what it is. You become most comfortable the group you surround yourself with. And by becoming comfortable with that group, you become like that group. If you want to be successful, surround yourself with successful people. If you want to be not successful, do that. The people you're most commonly around are the kinds of traits, tips, and tactics you're going to pick up. If you surround yourself with giving types of people, they will give to you. And in turn, you will give to them. And so you can grow. If you surround yourself with growth-minded individuals, you will be forced to grow. If you think about this from a business standpoint, look at your environment as the market and you as the business. The market always wins. Where the market is going, the business is going. If the market is going down, the business goes down with it. If the market's going up, the business goes up with it. It is what it is. These are the rules of the land. Some of the key points that I've noted is that in trying to find the group that you belong in, it would be in your best interest to try and replicate the actions of the types of people that you would like to be surrounded by. If you want to make more money, you're probably going to have to end up joining a group where you have to pay to get into. If you want to become a better video editor, find people that are video editors. Spend time around them. If you want to be a baseball player, spend time around baseball players. It's that simple. While I was studying cybersecurity in preparation for a career change before I started my career, wild. One of the things that I did was routinely meet up with other hackers, not by the literal not by the literal sense like, but other cybersecurity individuals, I should say. Every weekend we would link up and actually practice different cybersecurity tactics to make sure we were on our P's and Q's and by being in that group, when one person found out something, everybody benefited. I didn't realize it at the time, but by being in that group, I actually learned 5 times as much as I would have if I had been studying alone. Granted, I did that too, but I think that being able to feed and play off the energy of those that are doing the same thing as you with similar goals in mind, you can speed up your growth rate rapidly. I 1000% think that that played into my ability to actually land a cybersecurity role despite going to college for electroengineering. One of the common sayings of the internet today is make sure they pass the vibe check. Write down all the things that you want to be and all the things you don't want to be. Try to map out where those types of individuals would meet up or sync on a regular cadence. Find groups of those people and actually make the effort to go there and not just go there, but actually give first when you get there. By giving first, you show that you're a team player. And by being a team player, everybody wants to be on your team. This works across the board. So... That's all I wanted to talk about today. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you agree, if you don't agree, either is fine. Hit me up. What is this? Day 14? Day 14. Happy Valentine's Day. Matthew Holland, signing off.